So, so moving on to the estate red, you've got the 2016 vintage in front of you. Uh, what we're trying to do at Clank and Stanch is we make a very little production or limited production of red. And that's purely because we've got certain areas on, on, the, on the estate. I always say the farm and everyone's like, what the hell is a farm? It's not a farm, it's a vineyard. Um, so <laughs> we've got certain, certain areas um, on the estate or on the property that are suited to making red wine. They're in, on warmer slopes and there are a lot more fertile soils and all the rest. So we couldn't plant Sauvignon Blanc there. So the best and most logical thing is to, to make um, a decent red wine in those spots. Uh, we used to have a hell of a lot of different reds. We used to do Cabernet, Merlot, Malbec, Shiraz, Petit, you name it, we used to do it. <laughs> and the, the change in, in philosophy at Clank & Sanchez, we decided just to do one red wine. Um, and that's what we did. So we took all the best parcels that we had uh, and we blend together the best of the best that we can do for that, that vintage. So in the 2016, it's actually a blend of 40% Cabernet, 25% Malbec, 19% Shiraz and 16% Petit Verdot. So it's almost a Bordeaux blend, except we, we like the Shiraz here. It seems to work well in the cold climate kind of area. Uh, and the style that we're looking for in the, the estate red is we're not trying to make a big, bold, blockbuster, over-the-top, jammy style red wine. We're looking for a more elegant, down-to-earth red wine that, that can go with food and, and represent that pure Clank and Stancher style. Um, and I'm sure when you guys taste that, you'll get that, that effect. Um, we're also quite lucky, as I said, you know, we have Bruno Pratz and Hubert Dubois, as well as his consultants that come out here and they, they help us with the blending. So I can literally take days and try and blend the wine and, and put components together. And Hubert Dubois will come and visit us and he'll literally taste the seven samples and go boom, 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 give me a blend like that. And it's a million times better than the blend that I could ever make. So <laughs> you have them in our, in our team, you know. Um, while we're on that, I mean, what do you guys think about the estate red? Yeah, it's a beautiful, as you said, kind of cooler climate expression of it. it the, the acidity level is fantastic and fresh and provides that backbone for the wine. I think this is also um, a red that I often do recommend to a lot of my friends or even trade customers when they wanted something that's a little bit more savory and not like sort of like a South Australian big jammy red. So this always hits the spots with them. So it's great that we could introduce Klein as well as sort of um, South Africa for a good red blend. Well, that's exactly, exactly what we're aiming for. Um, mm. and different uh, stuff. So, sorry, Matt, is it the Shiraz that's giving it that nice little bit of sweet fruit? <laughs> yeah, you know what it, it's, it's also the Malbec. Um, oh, the Malbec. Yeah. Um, it, it often gives it a very big um, kind of red fruit character. But the problem with Malbec is it's like a donut. It's got nothing in the middle. So you need the Cabernet and the Petit Verdot just to, to build up that, that palate weight. Uh, Matt, I also got one question. Just like, uh, what do you think about the vintage? Because uh, what we are now drinking is the uh, 2016. So many of the other South African producers also said uh, 16 is a tough year for them to make the wine. So what do you think about 16 versus 15 uh, Klein Constantia ST Red? Well, so the biggest problem with um, 16 is it came out after an incredible 2015 vintage. Yeah. Um, 15 in the Cape was a, a similar vintage to the 2001. 2001 for me was the best vintage ever made and I think 15 rivals that. Um, and now a lot of people are saying the 2017 is just as good as the, the 15 was. Um, so it is, it is tough for a 2016 to come out and rival that. Um, the, the benefit that we have at Clank and Sancha is our climate is completely different to that of Stellenbosch. And because we're tucked between the ocean on both sides, our um, temperatures are very constant year on year. Um, it, it's basically buffered by the ocean. Whereas Stellenbosch and, and other inland regions are 
more reliant on, on other climatic conditions that affect their, their flavors and all the rest. So our wines are, are more consistent. Um, and the 2016 for me is more elegant in terms of style to the 15. 15 was a very big drought year. Um, there was very little water. It was very ripe. It was very big and bold and all the rest. 16, we were able to ripen um, to the same, same degree, but have better acidity on it. So it's, it's a fresher, more elegant vintage. Um, but it is a different style.